We've learned so much, and yet there are still so many questions. The doctor at the forefront of the nation's coronavirus response has them. It is very strange how one individual can get infected and have either mild or no symptoms, and another individual could rapidly deteriorate. Months into this pandemic, we're still asking why some get deathly ill from COVID-19 while others are fine. We know that people with pre-existing conditions like heart disease and obesity are at higher risk of a serious reaction. Dr. Mary Beth Sexton of Emory University School of Medicine tells us pre-existing conditions only partially explain why some immune systems underreact while others overreact. It attacks the virus so enthusiastically that you get swelling and inflammation in a lot of your organs. There is one study that did find that at least some of those cases have a genetic link. But again, it probably doesn't explain all of them. Two separate studies found serious cases in patients who lacked some of the proteins typically involved in an immune response. You have a genetic mutation, which leads to you're either not producing it or producing a less amount than the average person, and your body might not be able to defend itself as well. It still explains only a fraction of the serious cases. We may not know completely who's vulnerable. And you could be vulnerable or have a family member who is and not know it. So this is just why it is absolutely essential that everybody takes precautions. So much of the mystery surrounding this pandemic remains.